Hi guys, um, here's a bit of an update um, on uh, the progress of the Admiral Graf Spee. Um, in my last update you had seen that I finished the uh, four-mast construction uh, in, with the major components. All the itty-bitty parts will still have to be added. Um, so raw construction is uh, basically drawing to a close. Um, usually this would be the time where I fit the um, hull to the base uh, with a finished seascape already but uh, since this is um, uh, not an option um, in this uh, big spring contest due to the base regulations uh, I decided to go on and um, construct the uh, ship um, without the base um, this is uh, quite an inconvenient thing because uh, I tend to break off things when I handle the um, kit too much so uh, I have to be very very careful to not ruin the progress so far just uh, giving you a bit of an idea what um, the model looks like right now it's just uh, please uh, remember this is only dry fit status I don't know if that will focus in Yes, it does. Very slowly but surely. Um, so you can see all the major parts in their place right now. Why is this not focusing? So this is what the model looks like now. Um, as said, everything is dry fitted. So nothing is glued in place, um, but um, it will be soon. And um, actually, I could be uh, starting to paint the model uh, within the next few sessions. Um, but still, tons of work to do. So um, see you in a bit. Back again. I started to glue the um, major superstructure parts into place. They've all been fitted uh, using um, standard styrene glue. And um, now there's a thing that I deem very, very important when uh, building ship models or any model uh, whatsoever. Uh, gaps between major parts should be avoided. Um, at all times. Um, so, what major mess here? Okay. Um, to show you what I mean, just turning this thing around. Sorry for the inconvenience cost. Um, there you go. Um, you can see here. Um, even though uh, quite a bit of glue has been used to uh, attach the superstructure parts to the deck, there is a significant line and, and a gap between the superstructure parts and the deck. Um, what I do is I use uh, good old Elmer's and um, I use a soft brush and uh, add a good amount of Elmer's glue all along these gaps, close them down neatly and take care that um, a good amount of the glue goes into the gap real deep to make sure it's all covered up nicely. Um, and then I use water 
or window cleaning agent to clear up this um, excess glue and work it further into the depth of the gap, thus removing, um, thus removing glue that would show underneath the paint. And um, if you use um, window cleaning agent with white glue, that uh, does the trick very nicely um, because the excess glue goes away real quick and stays in the gap real nice and you can already see yeah from the from this that uh, the, um, the, the gap is pretty much closed and um, of course the Elmer white glue will dry transparent so you will be able to see darker shadows actually uh, for example why doesn't this focus hmm. here you see there is a gap as well it seems dark but uh, it's uh, with the naked eye you can see that it's really closed up fully okay and I work all the lines uh, of the superstructure uh, connected to the deck like this and uh, this way we will have a nice look that it's actually one piece and not many pieces Here you can see there's this looks like a gap but it's already closed with white glue and uh, it will give the um, the model a much co more coherent look and the uh, judges will um, definitely not have any gap uh, to claim or deduct points uh, when you put the model into the um, into any competition all right uh, I'll have to do that with all the uh, aft superstructure part and uh, since you've seen it already I'll not uh, waste your time on that See you in a bit. Bye bye. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, the last half hour I have spent um, preparing for painting the kit. Um, I have finished um, the glue application to the superstructures and now I have uh, made me this very, very nice little forest of um, wood sticks with crocodile clamps and. Um, I've attached all the parts and um, as well I have uh, uh, attached the uh, hull to a piece of balsa wood so I don't have to handle it directly. Uh, this is my um, solution to the problem not having, um, not being able to attach a permanent um, base uh, to the hull right now. Um, okay. What I'll be using to prime is um, by uh, Citadel Chaos Black. Uh, it's one primer. Then I'll be using Mr. Surfacer 1200. Very nice too. Uh, a gray primer and a white primer from uh, Andrea. Um, usually used for um, uh, painting figures, but uh, all these primers are will work very nicely with the acrylic paints, which I'll be using mostly. And um, they, I'm be, I'll be using uh, different uh, colors of primer to achieve different effects uh, on the ship. Uh, you see the whole ship is 350 scale. So uh, this is actually in real life, this is a very, very big um, uh, subject. So um, paint should not be um, applied in a constant shade all over. It's, at least that's what I th I'm thinking always. I see a lot of very nicely made um, uh, 
350 scale ships, especially uh, carriers with big surfaces, uh, but the color is very, very uniform, and I think this is not quite uh, helping the model to uh, get a good look uh, because uh, all these um, big portions of uniform color are tended to be. Um, painted in different sections in real life and uh, so uh, there will be different portions of paint with uh, smaller um, smaller differences in uh, color composition and uh, that will lend to the effect that uh, the overall color shouldn't really be too uniform um, at least that's what I think of course everybody is uh, left to his own piece of opinion here but um, this is what I'll do so um, I'll show you the um, result after having primed um, the parts. See you later. And back again. Now, um, the white primer crept out on me. Um, I tried two parts and uh, it just spat and I couldn't get the um, dispenser cleaned. So, uh, oh yeah, you know, since everything's coming from a rattle can, of course, you're totally dependent that your equipment is okay, um, but um, the white primer wasn't. Uh, so no white primer this time, so just black and gray. And um, I think you can see a little bit of it already in the picture, but to give you a, whoops, another look at what we've got. Um, here's um, um, the forest of uh, small parts. You can see I've, uh, painted some of the parts black, others gray, and uh, that mostly to achieve some kind of pre-shading effect when using the gray color. You know that uh, all these battleships are gray, gray, gray. Um, so to give it a more interesting look, uh, the parts are primed differently to give it some uh, pre-shading effect. Um, the hull will be worked on next. Um, uh, I'll be starting with uh, painting the wood decks. Um, until the next time, um, then I'll, I, I think I'll have to show you the uh, process of uh, painting the individual planks on the ship. Okay, see you later. Bye.